Hallelujah. Shalom, beloved in the Lord. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am your sister in Christ, servant of God, Mary Magdalene. And it's always a pleasure to share with you the word of God. Beloved in the Lord, this time this video is to encourage everyone out there. The Lord is uh, leading me to encourage some people that might be uh, you may be discouraged. There are some circumstances in your life. There are some things going on in your life that are bringing confusion, that are bringing discouragement to your heart or your faith. And it's like you, your faith is balancing. You are challenged in your faith, in your belief with God. I'm coming this afternoon to encourage you with the word of the Lord. Beloved in the Lord, it's not easy. Amen. It's not easy. Sometimes we go through things and that can discourage us. You've been praying for a long time for a particular situation and you would like God to intervene on your behalf. You would like a divine intervention in your life, but you don't see the breakthrough. You don't see the answers of your prayers. Beloved in the Lord, let me tell you that that's what we call a time of desert. Amen. Another time I will give a, a, a long teaching about the crossing of the desert when you are in the desert. But beloved in the Lord, just this little exhortation to encourage you. Let me tell you that it's easy. It's easy to be happy and praise the Lord and give testimony and praise God and worship Him. You know, when things are easy, when you, uh, you, your prayers are answered and when your life is going smoothly as you would, uh, as you want. But um, when you are in the valley and uh, you feel like you are by yourself. You feel like God is not around or God is not listening to my prayers or there's something going on with me. And beloved in the Lord, I want to assure you that there's nothing going on with you. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of season. Now, when you know how to interpret every season that is in your life, then you know how to walk according to this season. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, there are seasons in the life of a Christian. There are seasons in which uh, that you will cross in order for you to enter into the perfect plan and will of God. When we watch the life of the Israelites, uh, when they were crossing the desert, beloved in the Lord, it was not easy. There were some times where they were, they were happy because they saw some miracles or they prayed and God answered to them. There were some times that they were like trapped in an ambush or something else the enemies are coming toward them and you know uh, frightening frightening them and all those kind of things but beloved in the lord i want to assure you that god did not leave you if you are a born again christian and you gave your life to jesus beloved in the lord you gave your life to god there's nothing that can shake you it's not that god wants to harm you he said in jeremiah 29 11 that all the plans that he have for you is not to harm you but to give you a good hope and a future why god is saying that is not to harm you because when you are uh walking in this christian life you are walking toward your destiny beloved in the lord god can show you your destination but he will not show you the process the way in which you are going to pass through for you to enter into your destiny so meanwhile when you are in the process or on the way going then you will uh, cross some ambushes you will cross some difficulties some barriers uh, so you will think that god is not with you and you will say that well god has changed on my behalf no the bible says that god does not change is the same yesterday today and forevermore is the same god that uh, the same god that parted the sea in two this same God is the same that he was in the time of Moses, Abraham, the same God that was in the time of Jesus, the same God that is in our dispensation, beloved in the Lord. God is not changing, is everlasting.
the same way he has started, if he has started <laughs> one day, is the same way that God is. But is we human being, he said in Isaiah, that is we human being that change, beloved in the Lord. And we think that God is weird and God is changing. No, he said that, oh, you called me weird, but you are the one that is weird. You are the one that is changing your ways. I am not a man to lie, nor a son of man to repent. But you, as long as there's sin between you and me, my hand is not shut to save you. My ears are not dumbed to hear your prayers. But is sins that put a barrier between you and me. Beloved in the Lord, if it's not sin, sin any kind of sin, it can be disobedience. Uh, that can put you astray from God. As long as you are not in the plan of God, you can sanctify your life. You can pay your tithe. You can pray. You can avoid sin. Live a holy life. But as long as you are not in the plan of God, beloved in the Lord, you will go astray. So you are not walking according to the path that God has uh, uh, traced for you. Then you will walk in another path. And your ways are not his ways. So otherwise you are walking on the path of God or your own path or the path of the devil. So which other, which either way you are choosing, beloved in the Lord, we bring a result. And the ways of God, he said that large and spacious are the way that bring to loss, to destruction. But narrow is the path that leads to life, to God. And few are the people that find this way. So, beloved in the Lord, unfortunately, we Christians today, we want to take the, you know, the easy way, the simple way, but it's not always the way of God. He said that his ways are not ours and his thoughts are not ours. So, beloved in the Lord, be encouraged. When you are in a situation where you feel like a blockage or disappointment or discouragement, any kind of confusion in your life, you don't know what decision to take or what to do, beloved in the Lord, the Bible says that be still and know that the Lord is God. Amen. He will act on your behalf. And also know that the God from yesterday is the same that the God of today and forevermore. You just have to ask God in which season you are so that you will have the right attitude for you to break through amen and i will finish with this song that really blesses my heart beloved in the lord this song i love this song these songs say life is easy when you up on the mountain and you've got peace of mind like you never known everything goes smooth but when things change and things become difficult you down in the valley don't lose your faith because you're never alone. For the God of the mountain is still God in the valley. The God of your joy, your rejoicing, your happiness is still God when you are crying, when you are lamenting. The God of riches, abundance, and prosperity is still God when you are, you are in poverty, you are in lack. When you are in frustration, the God of prosperity is still the same God in the desert beloved in the lord he has not changed he would not change he would never change amen so i will sing this song be encouraged in the lord life is easy when you up on the mountain and you've got peace of mind like you never know but then things change when you down in the valley don't lose your faith for you never alone for the god of the mountain is still god in the valley when things go wrong He'll make them right. And the God of the good time, He's still God in the bad time. The God of the day, 
He's still God in the night. The God of the day. He's still God in the night. The God of the day. He's still God in the night. Listen. You talk of faith. When you are up on the mountains. But the thoughts come easy when life is at its best. But down in the valley of trials and temptation and confusion, that's when your faith is really put to the test. For the God of the mountain. He's still God in the valley When things go wrong He will make them right for you The God of the good time He's still God in the bad time The God of the day He's still God in the night Oh, the God of the day is still God in your night. Hallelujah. God has never changed. The same God in the day is the God in the night. He governed the day. He governed the night. He governed you when he's on the mountain. He's still Lord in the valley, even in the grave. In, even in the sickness, in poverty, in confusion, in limitation, in any kind of blockages, even in curses, is still your God. Beloved in the Lord, did, do not be discouraged. Do not give up. Just praise the Lord. Seeing his faithfulness. Uh, Job was saying that the Lord has uh, gave and the Lord has taken away. Uh, Praise is his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Beloved in the Lord. Job said that why should we not praise the Lord when we are in bad time and it's only in good time? Because Job has had the discernment. He knew that his God never changed. Beloved in the Lord. I want you to trust in this God. He's still the same. For now you don't see his hand because of the situation, the problem, the difficulties, beloved in the Lord, your faith is put in test. Now do not fail this test. I want to dare you not to fail this test, beloved in the Lord. If you fail this test, you will go astray and you will start murmuring. You will start complaining and you will go astray from the plan of God. And the devil will have you and will beat you bad. I'm telling you right away. But if you stand firm in your faith, if you hang on God... And no matter what is going on in your life, you don't go to juju priest, you don't, you don't go to psychist, a read, a palm reader, you don't go and consult other God than the God of Abraham, Jacob and Isaac. And you still trust in him because it's all about trust, beloved in the Lord. Do you think that God can harm you? Do you think that God can allow things in your life to harm you? Whatever you have desired that is not coming to you, maybe it's not the plan of God or it's not the way that you should take for you to acquire what God has destined for you. So beloved in the Lord, I want you to come back to God with all your heart and ask him to forgive you for all your murmurs and all your things that you have done that has put you astray from the plan of God and come closer to God. He said that if you come closer to me, I will come close to you. If you invoke me in the time of the dis your distress, invoke me and I will answer to you. Jeremiah 23, uh, 33, 3. 
invoke me in the time of your distress and I will answer to you. And I will show you hidden things. Beloved in the Lord, go in the presence of God. Go in the presence of God. Surround yourself with the presence of God. Don't sit all day long. You are saying that you are praying. But do you know that you can spend two hours, you are saying that I am praying, but really you are not praying because your mind is out of God's way. The devil will come and distract you. When it's time for you to pray, then you are thinking. The devil is bringing things in your mind. And then you are thinking about your sin. You are thinking about something that hurt you or somebody that hurt you. And then you are, you know, you are not praying. You can stay even on your knees for two hours and then you will spend a, a really a profitable and quality time with God only in prayer with only for maybe 30 minutes. But if you focus your mind on God and you talk of all distraction, all bad feelings, all uh, everything that will distract you from the presence of God, beloved in the Lord, I know it's not easy because it's a battle of mind, but ask the Holy Spirit to help you. When you spend quality time in the presence of God, you cannot go back the same, beloved in the Lord. You feel discouraged, you don't know what to do. You have spoken with people, they give you advices, they pray with you, but you don't feel satisfied. Beloved in the Lord, it's your battle. It's the battle of God. It's you and God. Be in the presence of God. Praise, worship Him. If you don't know what you say, worship Him and His presence will surround Him, you. May the Lord bless you, beloved, in the Lord. I hope this uh, message has blessed you. May the Lord strengthen everyone that is discouraged. May the Lord guide you, everyone that is in confusion. May the light of God enlighten your spirit and take out every confusion, every doubt. May you go. May the Lord straighten your path to go on his way. Amen. Remember, the God of the mountain is still the God in the valley. Shalom. God bless you. I love you all.